Welcome into Bible Center. The past 24 hours have been as wild as John's revelation. I've drunk two gallons of coffee, I've lost my coat, my hair is messed up beyond repair, but I'll go ahead and send you over to Ben and Isaac to sue who's been exiled and who's moving on to fight for the right to be called champion of Bible Madness. Thanks, Jay. We're here with the Faithful Four matchup from last night, and it was madness. But as you know, only two can move on to the championship of championships. And so we're going to go ahead and give you the result between Paul and Nehemiah. This was a great matchup, and you had a great fan base behind Paul as the viewers and as the fans. And so call Nehemiah Humpty Dumpty because he falls off of his wall and Paul wins with 80% of the vote. And with that, takes that side of the bracket. And here with this side, we had David versus Mary, our biblical breakdown, the king of Israel against the mother of Jesus. And as most of you husbands know, when there's a debate or some type of fight, the wonderful woman always comes out with the W. Mary moves on to the championship round against Paul, she receives 50.9% of the vote. This was by far the closest vote in the entire tournament. David receives 49% of the vote. Mary wins this round by one vote as they move on to the championship round. So now we have Mary against Paul in the championship of championships. How does this affect your bracket? We'll turn it to Isaac May as he tells us how it all went down. Man, what a crazy last couple of days this has turned out to be. We had six people, only six people, that had both Mary and Paul in the championship. We had quite a few people pick Paul, but only six of you had both Mary and Paul. When you look at who's in first place right now, it's still Richard Turner, but there are two people who are very close behind. And with the Buford Youth Group, we still have Yun sitting in first, but Davy Blake and Tiffany Price are very close behind. And I'm happy to say that whoever wins in the championship determines who wins it all in the bracket. So please continue to cast your votes and get ready for tomorrow because it is going to be crazy to see who comes out on top. Thanks, guys. So there you have it. The final showdown has been revealed. But before we get to the biblical breakdown, let's pause for a commercial break. Hi, I'm Jay Hall. You might recognize me from March Madness Bible Edition. There's nothing I'm more passionate about, though, than great facial hair. I'd like to introduce you to something very close to my upper lip. No Shave Covember. What is No Shave Covember, you might ask? To me, No Shave Covember is like a warm safety blanket strapped across my face in these dark, cold times. It really has changed my life forever. Is that a good take? Where's Ben? I thought Ben was supposed to be next. Ben, what are you doing? No! I'm so sorry. <laughs> no Shave Covember isn't for everybody. Not everybody's blessed with great facial hair like I am. If you'd like to take the pledge today, ask your mom. And we're back, and now it's time for Biblical Breakdown. We're here with the final Biblical Breakdown of the entire tournament, Isaac. I'm excited. I don't know about you. I'm ready. I'm ready. I mean, this has all been leading up to this point. And we have the greatest matchup of the year between Paul and and Mary. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to talk about Paul for a moment. When we think about Paul, we've said a lot about Paul in this tournament, Isaac. Mm -hmm. But we've said things like he wrote half the New Testament. We've said things that he gave us the church organization and structure that we follow today. We've said that he made great leaders like Timothy and Titus. But I want to focus in on one thing we haven't focused in on yet. And that is the fact that even though he had all of those spiritual achievements, all the awesomeness factor in the world, he had the humility to say that he was the chief of sinners. He had the humility and lowliness and, and self-awareness to say that he was the least of all the saints. And that humility, along with all the other stuff, is why I think Paul is the obvious choice for this matchup and should win the championship of championships. Isaac? Yeah, when you think about Mary, I think a lot of people make the mistake of thinking of Mary as only 
the mother of Jesus. They say, well, no matter who Jesus' mother would have been, Jesus would have turned out the same. But when you think about Mary, that's not all she is. She's the mother of multiple other people who wrote books in the New Testament. She's the only person in your brackets who are responsible for multiple people in that bracket. She once said about uh, God that God alone has done great things. But let me tell you, Mary has also done some pretty great things. And that's why you should vote for her tonight. And when you're voting for the last matchup of the year, you want to use these three t criteria. You want to use the overall faithfulness, their spiritual achievements, and their awesomeness factor in determining who will win the championship of it all. So please continue to cast those votes and get ready for the matchup for the results tomorrow. Back to you, Jay. The final matchup is set. Who will be crowned the champion of champions? It's up to you. One final time, click on the link attached. It's live now and will be until 10 a.m. tomorrow. Check back in with us at 5 for final coverage of March Madness Bible Edition here at Bible Center.